Aloha. The University of Hawaii Manoa is proud to present VIP Team Rose's first ever system acceptance review for the URC 2022 competition. To compete in the URC, Team Rose has designed a six-wheeled rover capable of all challenges stated in the 2022 URC rulebook. Last semester, the rover was designed fully in CAD. This semester, we have built a prototype for our competition design. Due to supply chain issues, not all parts were received before the SAR deadline, so the team used what we had to get the prototype rolling. Our competition rover will look more similar to the CAD model shown. Several components, such as the wheels and materials shown in this video, will be further optimized prior to the competition. To overcome the challenging Martian terrain, we decided on a linear bogey suspension design. The linear bogey utilizes a differential bar connected by two articulating linkages, which keeps the rover body level over uneven ground. Our rover is composed of an aluminum chassis, carbon fiber composite, and aluminum linkage suspension, which optimize strength for withstanding collisions. The rover has a low center of gravity to ensure that the rover meets its incline requirement of 30 degrees. Our low pressure inflatable tires allow for conformable surface contact with the ground to increase traction when climbing up steep slopes and traversing rough obstacles. To complete the equipment servicing mission, we designed a 5 degree of freedom articulated robotic arm with a two finger parallel end effector featuring a rack and pinion mechanism. The rack and pinion design directly drives the finger's movement and has a stronger grip compared to some traditional grippers and the longer rack allows the end effector to easily grasp objects 5 centimeters long. Linear actuators controlling the shoulder and elbow pitch allow the arm to pick up objects up to 5 kilograms in mass, and are more robust to shock loads for the extreme retrieval and delivery mission. The worm gear in the wrist pitch provides a high ratio of speed reduction to increase the provided torque. These design choices ensure that the arm can easily push buttons, flip switches, open drawers, undo latches, type on a keyboard, and insert a USB stick. Two cameras will be mounted on the wrist of the arm to provide the operator with live stereoscopic video feed optimized for teleoperation while performing dexterous tasks. The arm and end effector will be printed from ABS CF10, which reduces the weight of the arm subsystem while maintaining the structural properties comparable to 6061 aluminum. Here at the Autonomy Team, we developed an autonomous navigation stack to traverse the goal waypoints. The rover's global pose is estimated using an extended common filter fused with GPS and IMU data. Local pose is estimated from visual inertial odometry using an Intel T265 tracking camera powered by Orb Slam 3. The rover's surroundings are mapped using an Intel D435i depth camera and its point cloud data. Using mapping software, our rover is able to differentiate uneven terrain from untraversable obstacles. Using the rover's pose with mapping, the path planning module uses cost maps to generate a feasible path. Multiple recoil tags are detected by the rover's onboard camera, providing an accurate estimate of the tag's pose. To address our power needs for the rover, our team has decided to build our own electrical power system. Our power system will be utilizing in-house built battery packs manufactured from lithium-ion cells. Power conditioning modules will provide voltage regulators for separate control and motor drive buses for switch power applications. For our communication system, we've chosen to operate within the 2.4 GHz spectrum using an ad hoc point-to-point -point single channel 802.11 Wi-Fi network to allow for bi-directional data transfer with sufficient bandwidth for live video streaming. The operator will control the rover using a web app implemented in Node.js to maximize interface flexibility. Reconfiguration of the rover's arm allows for non-invasive in-situ analysis of both rock and soil samples. A high-resolution camera provides visualization of macroscopic features indicative of life and potential surfaces ideal for further analysis. Mounted above the camera is a probe head sending signals via fiber optic cables to our custom-made Raman spectrometer. The collected spectra are used for distinct identification of mineral compositions and potential biomarkers. A shovel scoops and deposits soil from each site into one of three designated chambers, where samples will be prepared into solutions using high-speed magnetic stirrers. Using multi-channel parasitic pumps, small sample volumes are injected into a compact microfluidic chip that can perform rapid chemical analyses simultaneously. Paper-based colorimetric assays are embedded into the chip for detecting amino acids carbohydrates, and ammonia. The rover's communication system will transmit instrumental data to the control station to analyze using spectral analysis software and image processing techniques. Team Rose is a first-year team proposing to compete in the 2022 URC and introduce the University of Hawaii at Manoa to the community of competitive robotics put together by the Mars Society. Our rover has been built from the ground up with the intent of competing in all challenges at the URC. Though we do not have all components that we design for due to supply chain issues, we are confident in our ability to acquire and manufacture all remaining components within spec of our intended design and the time frame of the competition.